Back here at home, a Baltimore County police officer taken to the hospital tonight after a driver crashed into their patrol car. Police say another officer on the scene fired his weapon. 11 News reporter Kyrie Reed joins us live in Pikesville tonight and tells us how police say this all started. Kai. Yeah, Deb and Andre, uh, the officer that you mentioned that was taken to the hospital has non life threatening injuries, according to investigators. So that is positive news. I'll tell you, uh, this all unfolded, although more than five hours ago, we still saw detectives going in and out of one of these homes here on Blanche Road. There's an alley behind these homes on Blanche Road. We saw detectives going in and out of one of these homes for hours afterwards. Clearly it's related. We just haven't been able to find out from police how. Back up here at 5.30 tonight, investigators say an officer tried to pull over a driver for a motor vehicle violation in the alley I mentioned. They say that the driver did not comply and instead rammed the police car multiple times. That led to another officer then discharging his weapon. No one was hit, but the officer sitting in the police car was injured and taken to the hospital. The suspect, police say, surrendered after the gunfire. This is a perfect example of how you always hear uh, people refer to a routine traffic stop. This was anything but routine when you think of what that might look like. Um, this person was not complying. He was trying to flee the scene and in the process uh, put the lives of several officers in danger. So investigators aren't saying how many times that that officer fired, but again, no one was hit by the gunfire. We do expect to get an update on the officer's condition tomorrow. Reporting live in Baltimore County tonight, Kyrie, WBAL TV 11 News.